Hey, Kev here, and yes, another one of these before I get back to the really cool stuff. The Twinkie video was so much fun that I decided to do a cupcake as well, so here we go. This took me under an hour to make, but none of you will want to watch me make a cupcake for even that long, so here's the abbreviated version. Start with a cylinder, hit tab, select the face on top, and hit S, then drag and scale it out a bit. Then hit extrude with that face selected, and extrude and scale a few times until you get this. This takes practice, so have at it. If you hit S, you can scale it. Then use that yellow plus to extrude again and scale and extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude. Get it to about here. Now you can hit Control plus R to get loop cut and slide. Then add in a few cuts. Do the same thing on the bottom. You can use inset faces here too if you want because we don't need extrusion. Then loop cut and slide a few times to give it some resolution. Now, loop cut and slide, control R on the sides once near the bottom so it stays flat when we subdivide it next. Then, loop cut and slide once more. Roll your mouse wheel to get lots of cuts like this. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can do this manually. Now, go to object mode by hitting tab and add in a subdivision surface modifier by hitting control 3. You can also use the menu if you want. It's totally your call. Now we have something that looks like a cupcake. Ooh. I'll loop cut and slide once or twice here near the edges to sharpen it up just a little bit. Now we can go around and pull edges down to make it look more like icing or whatever. We're at that part where we need to separate the cake part from the icing. This is so we can have two completely different displacements on here. This is not necessary as we can do this all with shaders, but here's a way to do it so we don't need to rely on shaders alone. Select the bottom central face and hit the control plus the number pad plus sign. Or just use select, select more, or just like select the polys with the lasso or whatever. Then go to mesh, separate selection. There, now you have two separate objects. I'll name mine icing and the other one cake. Now add a displacement modifier, choose Voronoi, make the strength like 0.25. Now duplicate the displacement modifier by hitting copy. Add a new texture, choose Voronoi, and make this one smaller. Then make one more copy of the Displace modifier and play with the strength. This really does take some playing around, so this file is up on my Patreon if you want to see my exact settings. No pressure, it's, it's just there if you want it. This makes it look like crumbly cakey stuff. And when we apply the shader later, <laughs> that almost rhymed, we can really dial this in. Now select the shader, go to the shading workspace and add in a principled shader. Make it reddish brown like this cake color and set roughness to 0.9-ish. That takes away the harsh shine. And add in a bump node. Hit Control t if you have Node Wrangler installed. If not, it's an Edit Preferences add-ons. I recommend using it. Let's select the Image node and hit Control s to swap in another texture node. Choose Noise, and I set my scale to 34. Detail to 12.7, and roughness at like 0.575. It's not a hard and fast rule, but like I said, the stuff needs playing with. One thing I definitely want here is to switch UV to generated for the vector input. This will allow the bump map to wrap nicely around the cake part. Give the noise a little distortion, and there, not bad cake, cakey, cakeness. Now onto the chocolate icing. Give this a principled shader as well, and let's make it a chocolate color, which is like reddish brown. Turn the roughness up to 0.8. So it's more velvety. You can also use sheen here, but I'm not going to play with that for now. Not too bad. Now I'll add in a few area lights. This is highly subjective, but I'll just use a simple two-point lighting setup for now. Just side and top, and I'll probably add a third or fourth later. Now I can begin more look dev on this. The chocolate looks like it has a nice sheen, but we need to break it up a bit in the roughness. We can do that with a texture map. Hit Control t then select the image node, hit Control s to swap, and switch from base color to roughness. Add in a color ramp, then make the black, which is mirror, a bit lighter. Move the sliders till you have something that looks like this. Then play with the musgrave until the roughness is broken up to your liking. Here are my settings. Now the cool signature icing stripes that we all know and love. Make a bezier curve, Drag it up to the top of the cupcake and hit tab, then straighten it out by selecting and moving the points and handles. Select all the points by hitting A, then go to Segments, Subdivide. This will give you more points to work with. Now, 
Make a squiggly curve like this by moving the points around. I do this easily by scaling it negative 1 in the y direction. Now we have crisscross shapes. We can now go into the geometry tab for the curve and add in some bevel depth. Keep it small and get a tube. My depth is 0.04. Do this for the other one too. I'm going to just play around with my curves a bit more and bend it around to shape these to the top of the cupcake. Lastly for these guys, I want to make the ends of the curves taper in. Here's how we do that. Make another Bezier curve, then select one of the icing curves. Go to the Taper Object box and select the new Bezier curve you just made. This adds a taper based on that curve. If you now move the curve handles around, you can shape the taper at both ends like this. See what it does? Play around with this and it'll become intuitive. Select the curve on the other side, and now both icing curves look better. Now I'll add in a floor with a simple plane and fit it just under the cupcake. Nice. Now I'll copy the whole cupcake over by selecting all the parts and hitting Shift D, then move it over. We're going to slice this one in half. First, let's half the icing. Hit Tab, select some points, and hit Delete Points. Do that for both sides. We can now select a bunch of faces and hit Delete on the top icing part. We can add in a solidify modifier here too if we want to give it thickness, or just extrude it and move it. It's your call really, but I'm going to stick with solidify. Let's work the cake part now. We could just push in the faces here, but I'll delete half of it because, well, I, I, I don't know, just because. After deleting, we can select the edges that make up the outer hole, then go to Vertex, New Edge, Face from Vertices. We now have a filled in hole. Not great looking, but when we go back into object mode, the bump map obscures the weird displacement to a point. We can fix that by using the knife tool here in edit mode and draw and connect the edges to form new faces. This doesn't have to be perfect, it's a cupcake, like not a surgical tool. Not bad. We can now go into sculpt mode and push and pull a bit to make it a little bit better. There. Now we can take care of this atrocious bubble curve thing in the middle of the chocolate icing. Being that I'd use solidify, all I have to do is tweak a few edges and it's fixed. Not bad. You'll also notice there's a crease in the top now. I decided to leave it in there because it adds character, and I've eaten so many of these things as a kid and have seen that happen on top before, so oops, happy accident. You might not have seen me move the cake part up a bit to fit in the icing, but I did that here too. Let's now adjust the icing curves to fit a little bit better, and cool. Lastly, let's add in some of that partially hydrogenated cardiac stuff. We can use a sphere, add in a subdivision surface, and then add in a displace modifier, hit new texture, and give it a Voronoi. Make the intensity like 0.7 or whatever looks good to you. Voronoi is a nice looking displacement for the way that this cream coagulates. You can also play with first, second, and third to make it bump out more if you want. Give it a principled shader with some subsurface scattering in there. Add in another light, adjust it to your liking, and there. I also went back in and sculpted the chocolate icing a bit. You can do that if you want. You can animate it. You can do a still image or whatever. This file's up on Patreon along with my Twinkie one and a whole bunch of other blend files from other videos that I've done if you want in. No pressure. Just have fun, create stuff, and tag me on Instagram. I love seeing what you create. Thanks, and stay safe, my friends. This concludes the junk food videos for now. Something cooler is coming.